The first thing that we'll need to do before we begin creating our pages is to move the club files that we know we'll need from our data folder into our Web140 root folder. Because we haven't done any work, we can do this easily outside of Dreamweaver. I'm going to open my data folder. Inside my data folder, I see my unzipped club DWC17 folder. What I need is inside of that, so I'm going to open that folder. Inside of that folder, I have my club folder that contains the text that I need for the pages and the logo. So I'm going to right click and copy that entire folder. Now I'm going to close my web data folder. I'm going to double click to open my web140 root folder. I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste that club folder into my web140 root folder. The only reason that I can do this outside of Dreamweaver is simply because I haven't begun any work yet. Now I'm ready to begin creating my basic site in Dreamweaver. First of course I need to confirm that I've connected Dreamweaver to my Web140 root folder. I'll go to Site, Manage Site, there's Web140. Let me just take a look just to make sure. Yes, and I see that local site folder, my path is no deeper than Web140. If it's any deeper than that, well, I'm in a pickle. So let's make sure that's the case. Save, done. Okay, now I'm ready to begin. I'll double click on the club folder because I know I wanna work inside of there. Let's create just a basic HTML5 page. File, New, HTML Document. Well, I know this is going to be my home page, so I'm going to go ahead and name it Boys and Girls Club. Okay, now I'm going to create this file. I like to work a little differently. That's totally personal preference. Okay, so now I'm going to save this inside my club folder. Let's practice that process. File, Save, and I'm going to name this Index. I know it's automatically going to name it as an HTML file. Now I want to make sure that I am where I want to be. If I went ahead and click Save Now, I would not be inside my club folder. So I'm going to make sure to double click on the club folder that I've created so that I'm saving this inside my club folder. Okay, so I'm going to name this index.html and I'm saving inside the club folder. Now here I'm confirming that it's actually going inside that club folder. I'm going to click Save. Okay, so I've now created just a basic HTML page inside my club folder. There are a few different ways to do what we're going to do next. I'm going to show you one of them. I know that we want to have a container that holds our page content centered on the page. Inside of that container, we'll have a header element, a navigation element, We'll have a main element that contains two sections, and we'll have a footer. You can either add some of your content and wrap the elements around it, or you can do what I'm going to do, and you can build some of that foundation framework before you add any of the content. I'm going to start with my div and I'm going to make it a class named container. So I'm going to click insert div at the insertion point and I'm going to name the class container and I want a new CSS rule. Now we don't have a style sheet yet so we're going to do two things at the same time right here. Alright, I'm checking this. Yes, it's a class named container. That's correct. And if I left this at this document only that would give me internal styles and that's not what I want. I want a new style sheet file and when I create this it's going to automatically be attached to this page. So I'm going to click OK and I'm going to name my style sheet Club Styles. I never have a space in a name so instead I have a hyphen here and it's going to save as a CSS style sheet. Now if I saved it right here I'd have a problem because I hope you've noticed that it's not inside of the club folder. So I'm going to double click on the club folder to open it and now I see I'm saving my club styles brand new CSS sheet inside of my club folder. Save in club. I'm going to click Save. And now I know that I want to center this. This is just a pretty generic starting point for me. So, And I just start out with 80%. 
you can vary that later any way you want but that just makes a good starting point for the container and then I'm gonna uncheck same for all in my margins I want my top margin and my bottom margin to be zero and I want my right margin and my left margin to be auto what that's gonna do is center my container on the page taking up 80% of whatever size the screen is, which means there's going to be 10% on the left and 10% on the right of my page body content. And now I'm going to click OK. And then checking again at the insertion point, the container, I'm going to click OK. Great, there we go. OK, now before I do anything else, I'm going to save this page. I need to save my style sheet and my index page. So I'm going to do File, I'm going to do Save All. Okay, if I don't do that, I'll have a little bit more trouble placing things where I want to place them. So just after you create your style sheet, go ahead and save it before you do anything else. So now I want my header element inside of this container. I'm going to highlight all the content that's in that container and I'm going to delete it. And then I'm going to click Insert. I'm going to come down here to the HTML5 element header and I'm going to click Header. And I want it at the insertion point because I have my insertion point inside the container. It's not a class, not an ID, but I do want it to be a new CSS rule. So I'm going to click that. Now, if I wasn't paying attention and I just clicked OK, I'd have a mess. This is not a class. This is going to be a tag because it's referring to an HTML element. And it's not body. What is it? Let's find it. It's alphabetical here, so it's not too hard. It is header right there. OK. And so now, one more thing, where do I want my rule to be defined? Well, not in this document only. That would be an internal style. I want it on my club styles CSS style sheet. So you have to be very particular and check as you do this because until you get used to this process, it's easy to make a mistake. I'm going to click OK. And I'm not going to identify any of the CSS yet. I'm just creating my framework so I'm just going to click OK and then I'm going to click OK. We've done a lot in seven minutes and this is a great stopping point for part one. 